Hickok 45 here. I wish I had enough money to buy a gun. I would shoot this stuff out here. <laughs> hey, I do have a gun. Pretty cool. I might even load it again. Yes, that was a little bit of a joke. Most of us have money to buy some sort of gun. And guess what? This one is a $200 revolver. Give or take a few bucks. How can you beat that? $200 for an RIA M200. Let's hit that target. I think I was empty. Now let's try a pin. Woohoo! Nice. Oh, there's another two liter. Uh, UT. Bong. Bong, 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 bong. Okay. <laughs> We're empty. 38 special. I don't hand load, but I'll probably eventually pick up the brass anyway. Also, we appreciate uh, Sonoran Desert Institute and their support. SDI.edu. Go to that site, check it out. Lots of coursework you could take on gunsmithing, uh, farms technology, get certified. Uh, a lot of help, and we appreciate it. Uh, SDI.edu. This firearm is uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, how do you make a revolver, even, for a couple of hundred bucks? And kind of a full-size, I don't know, whatever, whatever a full-size revolver is, right? Go up here and look at it. Uh, a lot of you have been curious about it, and me too. I really wasn't that aware that RIA Rock Island Armory made revolvers, but they've been making them since the 70s and 80s. Uh, the 200s, the 200 series, I think, since the 80s, and I just wasn't aware of it. They're kind of well known for more so for their 1911s. They're low end, uh, at least price wise, 1911s. And you've seen them. We've we've uh, done a couple of different ones at least. And for the money, that old phrase, that old line, they're really uh, uh, respected and 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 good quality. Almost uh, not just for the money, you know. Uh, they have a lot of respect among a lot of people, even gunsmiths I've talked to. They've talked about how they might be, I won't say best, you know, that's, that's subjective, but they definitely are one of the best buys for the money in a 1911. And so I thought it would be interesting to, to look at one of these because you know, I'm kind of a, a revolver guy. I'm an everything guy. I like all the firearms, don't I? And it, it takes, uh, I think it just takes more handwork, you know, to put a revolver together and get the timing and everything in a lot of ways. And uh, so far, it, it felt a little rough when we first got it. And uh, we, we learned that uh, you can't start putting pressure on that cylinder at all when you open up the latch. I guess it's loosening up some now. And it was like, hey, I can't get cylinder out. Well, you just got to pull it back and then move it. You know, and, it, and now it's loosened up a little bit. So it was a little bit tight when we got it. So it so no, doesn't seem to be any issue there now. And there actually wasn't much of an issue even at the beginning. You just had to pull back the lever there and then, then bring it out. So like you're supposed to do anyway. But uh, so it's not all that pretty maybe. And we'll maybe do some comparison with some of the other popular revolvers okay so i won't do that in this video i didn't drag out a bunch of my revolvers or anybody else's and we're not going to do a lot of comparison i just wanted to show you this thing and that it's even available you may not have been aware of that if you've uh, gotten the yen for a revolver and i've tried to ingrain that into you all <laughs> how cool revolvers are and how much fun they are to shoot and that you need one if you don't have one. Single action and a double action, really. You really do. Because there's just, uh, well, there's a lot of firearms that are fun at the range, but a revolver is one of them for certain. Just the way they load and unload. The magazine is part of the gun, <laughs> right? It's called a cylinder and chambers, and you just load it up and shoot it. Let's, shoot, let's see if it'll feed hollow points. You want to? Let's put a couple of them in, as in six. These are plus P, and it's supposed to be rated for plus P, as I understand. Uh, and then, you know, for defensive work, I tend to carry plus P's instead of magnums anyway. If I'm carrying a 357 Magnum, uh, you know, or 38 Special. So these are hollow point. We'll see how it feeds them. By the way, it seems to be about the size of a K-frame. This is a K-frame holster, and so is this one. And I'll show you later when it's empty, but it fits both these holsters just 
seems to be pretty snug and just right. Why don't we see if we can hit the gong? I'm not even fired it over here on the gong club range, but I'm gonna see if I can walk one into the gong. See if I can figure out where to hold. That one left, maybe. All right, <laughs> it's gong worthy. Let's see if it's hog worthy. I'll go double action on the hog. All right. Got him. Nice. Click, click, click. Uh, 200 bucks. Pretty amazing for a revolver, I'll have to say. So I'm gonna try this holster here. Before I do that though, I wanna remind everybody again how we appreciate the support from Atmex, the American Precious Metals Exchange. You see that big old 10 ounce uh, chunk of silver there with their name on it. Anyway, they're, they're online and they're a very reputable company. You get what you order and uh, they're just famous for giving really good service. So check them out. Check the link in the description, okay? There's also a Hickok 45 Favorites page there. We'll link to that in the description as well. Uh, like I say, it, I think it's really hard to, to build a cheap revolver because everything's got to work. The timing, that mechanism, you got double action, you got single action. Uh, so this is something you just can't throw together. And uh, some of you may have know more uh, about you know, the Philippines and how these are made at, at uh, Rock Island Armory. And I know the labor uh, costs are a different issue down there and everything. And so they're able to put together, uh, apparently, pretty nice firearms, uh, very reasonably priced. And some people have an issue that the fact they're not made you know, here and everything, you got all those issues. But everybody's looking for the, the least expensive firearm that will get the job done that, that you can find, okay? And man, this is one of them, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, dare we call it a high point killer? Uh, I won't say that. Uh, but it's, it's, it's so inexpensive for what it is. And it's just normal size of a K-frame, uh, you know, revolver. Uh, in order to make it inexpensive, as some other firearms, they didn't have to like blow it up into twice the size or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's. I'm surprised. I, I really am. Now it might quit working before we are finished, but it it feels good. I think the double action pulls about seven pounds. It says seven eight pounds, and. It really doesn't seem to stack a lot. I don't know. It feels <laughs> it's decent. And the single action is very good. It's comparable to a Smith & Wesson or a Colt. It really is on this particular gun. Now, if you have one of these, uh, share with us, will you? Because uh, they've been out for a while. Somebody has them. Some of you, I'll bet. Uh, so let us know what kind of service you've had. I'm sure we'll get all kinds of stories. Some of you probably had yours break, and many of you have not, I'm sure. But anyway, I, it seems like a nice revolver. Let me load him up again. Let's shoot some of these, uh, I don't know, some of these lead bullets. Yeah, 158 grain lead round nose. The old classic 38 special round. It is a 38 special, if I didn't say. It's not a 357 Magnum. Uh, and what it, it will sell for is generally like 213 bucks or something like that, I think. And you might find one on sale or, you know, people price firearms differently. But, uh, you know, they'll, they may have a, a line of firearms that are like uh, Rock On Army, for example, from one shop or an online store, whatever it is, they might choose to to have those priced uh, even below what other people price them. And then some of their other guns are priced higher. You know, same old, same old deal in, uh, in, you know, in the free enterprise system. But you'll see it somewhere between probably 199 and 230 bucks or something. So, so it's right there around 200. That's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So if you need to pop some two liters, oh boy, I almost didn't have my ears in. <laughs> you can do it less expensively. All right. <laughs> I'll set that little uh, plate down there. Oh, how about that bowling pin? Oh, I went right to the left of it. Why did I do that? I went to the left of it again. <laughs> I 
Maybe that's the reason I was flinching. Okay, let's load it up. I'm gonna get revenge on that bowling pin, I guarantee you. So, uh, that's the big thing about this, is the price. And let's uh, see, what else? It's got a four inch barrel, holds six rounds. Uh, got your, again, your rubber grip, which is kind of a hard grip, actually. And I was gonna show you before I load it too. Uh, this is a, a K-frame holster here. I've had forever. And it's too long for it, but the, the frame and everything, you know, that's pretty much the size. Fits perfectly in a K-frame holster. It's what the one on my belt is for as well. So that gives you an idea how big it is. And uh, it, now it's parkerized. You know, you'll have a beautiful blue finish or a highly polished stainless finish. I wonder why. I wonder why it doesn't have a finish like a Colt Python. <laughs> well, I think I told you all of that that you need to know when I gave you the price, right? So, the the thing I'm impressed with is that it it works and it seems to function fine, you know, for that kind of money. So, anyway, load him up again, and uh, I got a bone to pick with that old bowling pin down there. Yes, I do. I didn't get a speed loader. We'll do a little comparison with some other revolvers. Maybe I'll bring out a speed loader. I don't know. I, I really, honestly, don't use speed loaders much. This, this holster, uh, you have to open it up. It's a little tricky there. But uh, I just, I kind of, as I've said before, I kind of enjoy just dropping the rounds into uh, the chambers one at a time with revolver or two at a time. You probably figured that out. It's one of the cool things about a revolver. Uh, so if I'm just out shooting now when I was shooting matches, I had a 625 where you had the moon clips and I even competed with revolvers where I had to use speed loaders a couple of times too back back in the day and uh, yeah, you just do what you have to do to shoot as fast as you can and everything reload as quickly as possible. But by and large, I don't really even enjoy doing that. I shoot a revolver kind of like a muzzle loader or something. It's just fun to go through that process. And it really is. All right, bowling pin. I'm mad at you. I'm gonna get closer. I'm gonna knock you off. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a two liter. Went to the left, just a hair. Okay, let's go one hand. I think the sight's right on. That's just all me. Yeah, it's all me. I'm going to see if I can hit this bullseye here. Okay, I'm going to try. Ah, what a marksman. What a marksman. I didn't even use the sight. I promise, I didn't. You know, I was, I was like that far away. I mean, it's a miracle. I got that bullseye. <laughs> Look what the blast did. It, it's empty, but the... So you do get a lot of blast from a firearm, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> Something's smoking, or is it? That's just dust, I guess, it's not on fire. Okay, so we're clear. <laughs> ah, sometimes you can hit, sometimes you can't. Uh, the, the front sight is parkerized, just like the rest of it. Uh, you know, if you're gonna be in a shooting match with it, I would recommend putting a little uh, paint, fingernail polish or something. Yeah, back in the day, we used to always use fingernail polish. Not my own, you know, some that I bought or borrowed from uh, somebody else, but uh, could be your own. And uh, that usually takes care of a lot of that on the site. And uh, instead of just looking at parkerized against parkerized, gray against gray, it does have a wide track back here, you notice, on that rear sight. Even though it's fixed sights, it's a very clear, you know, sight line there. So with just a little bit of paint on that front sight, you would not be missing your bowling pins like I was. We'll take a few more shots. Uh, mainly I just want to make you aware of this because uh, I know we do a lot of uh, nice uh, higher end firearms. We do a lot of low end firearms too. And so I'm always on the lookout for something like this. And you all are, you requested it. So uh, I'm gonna make you aware. Uh, I mean, this is a firearm that would suit you quite well as a as a uh, defensive firearm might be a little bigger they make it in a smaller version so uh, just an option that's out there uh, 
you don't have to spend four or five hundred bucks or eight hundred bucks to have a firearm that actually works okay all right i'm gonna bear down a little bit i'm gonna see if i can put one in the middle of that disc if i can see the sight well enough okay not too far off the middle all right that's about the same yeah same hit almost all right so the sights are pretty much on not a big deal let's try the gong again it's a sweet sound that really is let's try the cowboy Double action. So, uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, as I said. Uh, not that I was buying trouble and, and hoping I could bash Rock Island Armory or not, uh, or, you know, or something, because uh, they, they do have a good reputation, the stuff they make. No doubt about it. Uh, so, it, we're living in great times. There are just so many choices, whether it's a 1911, a revolver, uh, or rifles. It, I mean, it's just incredible. Bolt action rifles, uh, AR type rifles. So many choices, so much competition that uh, you can find uh, something that you can afford. You really can in almost any format. And uh, this is another one. So, if you have a few firearms and you would like to have a revolver, but money is tight. Uh, it might be an option. Yeah, again, it's not a beautiful blued or nickel you know, firearm, but as far as something that functions, you know, it might be all right. So, you know, the, the only negative, of course, is what most revolver lovers would say. You know, it's very plain and, you know, you know parkerization <laughs> or parkerizing is generally not a, a person's favorite finish, maybe, on revolver. But if it's a $200 revolver, you know, uh, what else are you going to expect? You know, so at least it's well protected. Uh, the trigger is just, just not bad. Double action. I mean, I could go shoot this thing in a match. I really could. I'd have to work on that front sight and uh, pull that thing out. It seems to work. Unload it, reload it. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, not a bad gun. It uh, ejector rod and everything seems sturdy. So, so let us know what you think if you if you have one, what your experience has been with one of these. They've been around a long time. I didn't even know it until y'all started asking about it. So, as as often happens, you, know, you all alert me and John to some firearms that exist out there, and that's cool. That's cool. And uh, if it sounds interesting, and I think that enough of you all would have some interest in it, then yeah, we your buds a holler and say, hey, let's uh, let's uh, please send one of those, will you? I started looking at their website actually, see if they have it. So anyway, the M200, M stands for model, 38 special, uh, in a revolver that seems to work. Been firing it for a couple of days off and on, and then before the video, in the video, I think I fired it in the video today, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, so, uh, not a bad chunk of iron, seems to work. And that's the most important factor when it comes to a firearm, life is good. Oh, hi. Well, I've got you here. I want to let you know about some other places you can find us on the internet and talongungrips.com. So you can find us on Facebook under Hickok45, on Instagram, the real Hickok45. I also run an Instagram called John underscore Hickok45. Hickok45 on Twitter. There's also Hickok45.com, our website, where you can find information about everything that we have going on, basically, all of our supporters. Uh, you can also find our merchandise on BunkerBranding.com, so please check all that out when you have time. And also, please check out TalonGunGrips.com. Uh, we appreciate all of their support in getting attacked by spiders. I don't know if they have any products for that or not, but you can get a lot of different grips for different types of handguns and rifles um, to give you different types of textures that you may want um, that they can really help you uh, grasp the pistol uh, much better. So go to talongungrips.com and check everything out that they have. And as always, read the descriptions 
in these videos, there's a lot of questions you may have that can be answered by the description, and also check out the links that we have down there. I appreciate it, and uh, I've got some more uh, shotgunning to do. I'll see you guys later.